Hello there, Ray here, and today guys, we'll be looking at Zoglings, the new mob that came out in the latest snapshot, and we'll be seeing what mobs they like to attack, and who will win in a competition versus other mobs. So it's going to be Zoglings versus other mobs in Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoy, make sure to go ahead and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on future videos. Oh, that is strange. So the Zogling don't catch on fire, the Hoglings do. Of course, the Zoglings are aggressive to like everything, including their own kind, the hoglins. So they don't attack creepers because this guy's smart. What is this? They're trying to attack an armor stand. Nice. They can't do anything to it though. That is hilarious. <laughs> Will a zoggling attack item frames or paintings? I guess not. What about ender crystal? Summon ender crystal. Okay, so just some things they don't like. Summon boat. Summon minecart. Nope, they don't care about those. They don't like they don't like armor stands though. It looks like the enchanted armor doesn't actually have any glitter effect in this version. But that armor has thorns on it. So I'll drop it down here and see if it hurts them. No, they can't really hurt the armor stand. Armor stand can't hurt them. Okay, summon in some puffer fish. Is he? Oh, he is going after him. Okay. Dude, he can hit from really far away. Iron golems. Two iron golems versus two. This new zogling mob. Yeah, iron golems. They have more health and they do higher attacks. They're a winner. Yeah, they both kind of see each other as a threat. They both will aggressively attack each other. Oglin versus snowman. Yeah. Not a very fire fight. Come in, Phantom. He wants to get it, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, phantoms just keep flying around. You cannot get the Phantoms. We got Silverfish. We got Zoglin. He hurts that one. He makes the other ones come out of the blocks. I don't think it's too effective. Because Silverfish dies so easily. So when you kill one hoggling, gives you 5 XP's. It's like normal hostile mobs. And they can really reach quite high to hurt the player. Giant versus Zogling. <laughs> the giant doesn't even fight back. Zombies, they'll fight back though. Giants just have really bad AI, I guess. Uh, both the hoglins and Zoglins produce 5 XP's each. So it's probably not worth really converting them over to get anything out of them. Because they actually give you rotten flesh rather than a pork, which you could use to cook up. So it's still possible to make like my super fast uh, pork farm that I showed using transform over to overworld because they should be able to be killed before they convert over. We got wither here in the bedrock and we're going to summon in a zogling see if he attacks it. He's trying to. I don't think he can get close enough. But there's one up here. <laughs> oh they do try to attack it. Yeah but they do try to attack him. They just don't do a very good job at it. Okay, we got a whole bunch of bees. We got some zoglins. What's gonna happen, guys? <laughs> Are these guys even attacking them? Oh, he is attacking them, okay. It's just that they're all concentrating on the first guy. The other guys are just swatting bees. Kill them right and left. Oh, they killed one guy. They give them poison, so it lowers their health. But then they also do initial damage when they sting them. <laughs> this guy's still hitting bees. Uh oh, they all turned into this guy, last guy. That was a lot of bees. They can't even get to him because there's so many bees. They kind of prevent each other from getting to him. Well, bees definitely won that one. Zoglin versus Illusioner. Oh, they all kind of work together. When one gets hurt, they all... I didn't know they really worked together. That's interesting. So if they do ever add them into survival, they'll work together with more than one. Yeah, the 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 Zoglings are even kind of confused who to attack. Like he's trying to attack this guy here, but he's not doing any damage to it. Can they even hurt him? He's like really want to attack this guy. What are they shooting over here? Oh, they're shooting one of these guys? I, I guess they can kind of hurt themselves. Losers hurt other losers, so then they get mad at each other. But they're really good at strafing. We've got some piglins here. 
Oh, they are definitely afraid. They're coming after the piglin. Yeah, they're aggressive. Let's try a zombified piglin. Really? They even attack the zombified piglins? Also known as pigmen? That is crazy. And they work together too. They're not too happy about that. It looks so similar though. Yeah, they can't like breed with warp fungus. They're not like afraid of it either. The only guardian universe is ogling. Oh, I got him in the lava over here. First they have thorns, so they kind of hurt him every time he attacks, but they don't like initially attack back. Dude, that thing has a lot of health. This in the lava for a while and still comes out alive. Yes, and zoglings. Oh, he actually hit it. Oh, he actually killed it. He can reach. Dang, he can really reach high. Has it reached like five blocks above him or so? I was really surprised how high he could reach. Cave Spider versus Zoglin. Wow. Cave Spiders aren't that overpowered. No, don't go killing that stuff. Zoglin, Enderman. <laughs> I think it's Zoglins have like 40 health. Which is most more than most mobs. Pack of wolves. We got a zogling. Uh-oh. <laughs> look how look how big they are compared to the wolves. That's insane. Like wolves are supposed to be big. They eventually did kill it. Teamwork. Llamas versus hogling. They don't really work as a team. But everyone he hits. Kind of like a new one he aggressive towards. Now he just mats this one underneath. Shulker versus a Zogling. Really? Come on. There you go. <laughs> I love how the Shulker can defend himself just so they make mobs float away. Like, nope. You ain't coming close to me. Zogling versus Vex. Yeah, once he hits one, they get mad. Or do they kind of work together? Or does he have to hit each one to make them mad? It looks like only if he hits them does do they actually fight back. Well, maybe not. Wow, they're actually pretty good. Got a Ravager and a Zoglin. Both can attack from pretty good distance. Of course, the Ravager has more health. He has 50 health. And a Zogling. Touch the minecart. Go inside of it? Nice. Oh, well, they don't seem like they want to go inside of boats. The Withers did attack them, making you think that they're not undead. So does damage potions hurt them? Yes. So they're just like normal mobs, damage potions. So healing potions should not hurt them. Okay. And the Hogling here should be very similar. That hurts them. That helps them. Okay. Even though they look undead, they're not actually in the undead category. Witch versus Zogling. You're going to be faster, Witch. <laughs> okay, we'll watch the dragon come down. All these guys will try to attack him. Uh oh. <gasps> oh, that is so epic. That is crazy. They are really mad at the Ender Dragon. That was well worth it. Can a Zoglin convert a villager into a zombified villager? That is what we're testing here. Nope. We are in hard difficulty, so no. So they look zombified, but they're really more like a typical mob. We're summoning a bunch of piglins, a bunch of oglins. They should stack. The question is, do they do they also convert when they're stacked? Oh wow. That is mayhem. It doesn't look like they want to stack at all. That is insane. 
So as soon as they get converted, they drop off of it. Or as soon as the hoglins get converted, they just massacre. That is insane. And you get a lot of XPs from all the piglins from being mad. Interesting. All those baby zoglins actually um, grew up. So they're all adult zoglin. Which is kind of crazy. You can't like force to grow them up. There's like no food to really make them grow up. But they will grow up on their own. So you can bring in baby hoglins from the nether and they will convert over into uh, the zoglin. But they will grow up too on their own. Which is a way to make it so that keep babies so they never grow up. There should be a special like food or something you can feed babies so they never ever grow up or name tag or something. That'd be really cool. So just like what I showed with the piglins, it's possible to also bring hoglins here to the end dimension and they will not convert over to like a zoglin or a zombified piglin. So that's one way you can keep them alive. Just don't keep them in the overworld. So Chan put these. These are the respawning cures way up here at the top of the world. And when you click on them, it explodes, but it also tells you you can't click on them because you're too high. So go ahead and click on them, Jan. Yeah, it's client side. So he's getting affected by it, but no one else is. It's really strange. So I guess it also blew up this block. So it appears that he's standing on nothing, but there's actually a block there. It makes ghost blocks. And they never blow up. You see they're not doing any damage to the creeper either. They do move the player around. So in survival mode, yeah, you hardly take any damage. I think probably just from falling. <laughs> so strange. Client side explosion. Open doors from above. I've seen this glitch before. Part of the bottom door will move, the top door won't. And I've been in the game for quite a while. And you can walk through them too. So you can't walk that way, you can walk this way. If you re-log, everything goes back to normal. That was pretty interesting. I had a lot of fun testing that out during the snapshot stream. So make sure you guys join us for the snapshot stream every Wednesday as well as Friday. We open up a testing server so viewers can hop on and join us as we test out these weird things. And if you'd like to learn more about the snapshots, I've got a playlist down below which goes into all the snapshot changes for 1.16. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.